Hey, it's Liz, and this is Dawning Perspective. A lot has been going on the past couple months, and I feel like I kind of had to turn inward for a bit in order to assess where everything was and make sure that I was moving forward following my own internal voice as opposed to potentially leaning on the voice of others. And so there are a few truths that I not only I wouldn't say truths that I learned, but I feel truths that I recognize and have chosen to respect with the level of love and attention that it deserves. And those truths are that I have a passion for helping others and I want to apply myself creatively in order to help others gain self-empowerment. And the other truth is that for the past couple years, I have been building out a blog and a business for supporting others and providing insight on how to build a healthy mindset one thought at a time. And I finally accepted the truth that everything that I've been working on all builds up to becoming a life coach everything that I've been doing, all of the different things that I've been learning and harnessing and better educating myself on and wanting to share with others all revolves around this little like subsection of a profession that I have known about but I have not pursued because I was afraid. <laughs> I didn't pursue it sooner because of fear. And I have realized the past few months that that fear in part was the fear of becoming vulnerable with others or not the fear of being vulnerable, but the fear of not being accepted. I see life coaching as the ultimate form of vulnerability of opening up and being present for another person and I'm ready and I have been actively working on myself and my surroundings and my lifestyle and my perspective and every little thing in order to support this purpose. That is where I have been the past few months. Not inherently in any physical location, but just a state of mind and actively applying myself to this thought and this belief that I am worthy of being what I'm called to be. I am in a state of gratitude and thankfulness and appreciation that I'm now at a place in my life that I can accept me for me and I can say that openly without being afraid of rejection or anything like that because I have found acceptance within myself for myself and that feels really good. I am at a place now that I can be open with others and share myself and my experiences and also the things that I have learned and the tools and the techniques that I've gathered over the years for my own personal development as well as just being curious about the topic and just consuming different methodologies and modalities and thoughts and perspectives and approaches and I am building out a coaching framework, I am building resources, I am just pulling everything together in order to present it and have it be received by those who resonate with it and that is very exciting. My personal growth has been very intense these past few years and I feel like it's all been culminating to this point of just that internal shift. It's not inherently changing who I am, but being able to change my view of who I am and be able to accept me more wholly as I actually am. I am embracing the path that I am on. I am embracing the gifts that I've been given, the skills that I have learned, and just I am choosing to respond to life moving forward with the actions that I just, I know are meant to be taken and it feels scary and I am afraid every step of the moment but that is where it's also having to reframe my experience with fear and um, 
Yeah, so I don't even know where this is going other than just stating it out there, making it public, and probably also just getting this jumble of words out in order to clear the path so I can speak my truth and be able to better connect with everyone out there without obstructions, without hesitation, and without the fear and uh, everything that is not going to come out right. So I guess that this is pretty much it for this round and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!